Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of the Dog Island. And it's time for the Pooch Fashion Show. We got Peter a job here at uh, Mouse Shiggy's to work as a model. So let's go check out how his uh, runway debut is going to go. Uh, after this uh, fashion show, there's actually going to be another quest with Peter. And I'll be showing off that in this uh, episode. I'll also be showing off uh, the racing and the sledding. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of woofs because off screen, I did a whole bunch of these races. Uh, both the races and the sledding so that uh, I can get some extra materials to make uh, the remaining clothes The only thing I haven't uh, got yet. I need uh, one more of is um, colored glass I could potentially win one from the uh, Beach race on hard and I can also win one at the chick cup and sock or so But we'll eventually get that but let's first let's head in and check out how the fashion show was gonna go so Buddy walks in, and our first fashion model is this beautiful-looking Pomeranian. Looks like my friend's dog. He's uh, he's very kingly. Yep, he has that little king crown and the noble collar. Very very cute. Mm-hmm. Peter looks a little nervous. It's his first time on the runway. This dog, though, he's not nervous. He's uh he's he's owning it. Look at him. He's like, yeah, I'm cool. Look at me in my cool little puppy tie. My fashionable shades. I am the man. Come on, Peter. You can do it. You walk with style. You got it. Look at you. You own it. Yeah. Look at him standing up there. Oh, Buddy likes it. Woohoo! Way to go, Peter. We knew you can do it. Yep. That's why Mouse Shiggy hired you because she knew that you had the talent. All the other dogs love you too. Wow. Good job, Peter. Yay, and he's happy. Buddy's happy. Thanks for hooking me up with this job, buddy. No problem. I really enjoy this line of work. You've always been so helpful. Ugh, I just wish I could pay you back. That's okay. We did it because we enjoy helping other dogs. Oh no, am I starting to sound like Mouse Jiggy? Nah, you all good. You just stay level-headed there, Peter. You'll be fine. Welcome to my Shiggies. You'd make a wonderful model. You really would. Well, that's a change of pace. I think earlier in the game, she was he was saying that uh, we need some work. But uh, speaking of work, let's uh, put Hope to work here, making a few new items. So we can pretty much do everything except for the blue sunglasses. We'll have to buy a second tiara though, because the tiara we just made, we just had to use to uh, we just had to use to uh, create the crown. So. We're just gonna buy a second tiara here. It's pretty expensive. Uh, 20 woofs, I believe? Yep, 20 woofs. Wow. So, more expensive than the crown. The crown was used part, was made out of part of the tiara, so, hmm, I don't know. But now let's uh, put some cool new items on here. We got these yellow sunglasses, the cool necklace. Buddy's looking like a king. So. Nah, he'll be very kingly as he goes on some more questing. Because Peter, looks like Peter needs our uh, help with something. I came here to ask Mouse Shiggy to hire me. Okay, I guess there's a one and done deal. He told me to get the desert flower. Don't you think he's being mean? So I want to ask you a favor. Let me guess, you want us to get the desert flower. Could you go get that desert flower for me? Booty, please. The flower has this lovely smell. All right, we learned the scent of the desert flower. I don't know where it is. But from the name, I'd be guessing it would be in the desert, right? Yep, it's in the North Sandy Desert. Models shouldn't go out and into the sun too much. So please, please, pretty please. All right, Peter, we'll get it for you. We're going to kind of head that way. And when we uh, have to challenge Will, uh, that's where Will is. He's near uh, Gijili Village. Um... He's the one who we have to uh, talk with to do the races. And uh, that is right outside of the uh, North Sandy Desert, so. But the first village we're gonna go to is the Room Village because uh, we want to get that uh, guitar from the, uh, the buffalo. And we also need to get the chestnut. That's the last food item that we uh, didn't get the first time we ran into the uh, Room Canyon, so. Two things to pick up. We're gonna go uh, get that chestnut, and then we're also going to get the uh, 
guitar. Chestnuts shouldn't be too hard to get. We just gotta sniff around. Guitar might take a while for uh, the buffalo to drop it, but uh, we have plenty of hearts now, so we can tank a little bit of damage from the buffalo. So, not as bad. So, nope. Just avoid the buffalo when we can. Ah, he's gonna charge at us. Ah! But we'll howl at him. Yeah, you could possibly, like, avoid getting charged at him. Uh, but it, it is kind of difficult, so. That's why I figured I'd wait until now. When I had all these hearts, you know, I can tank a whole bunch of damage and it would just be easier to get the, uh, the guitar, so. Oh, the buffalo hit me. Boo. I'm gonna bark at him. Yeah, take that, buffalo. So. Also, uh, we haven't unlocked it, uh, but we're gonna unlock the final, uh, Borsh teleportation, uh, destiny. So, yeah, once we, uh, do the, uh, Kunker Runes, the first Kunker Runes, and get the Sniff Master Medal, uh, Boris will be waiting outside the Kunker Runes here, and, uh, that'll be the last destination on the, uh, Warp, uh, list. So, we can go, uh, talk with him, so, we'll do that, we'll... Just bark with the rest of these buffalo. Yeah, we didn't have any drops. But now we can talk with Boris. We can uh, warp back to Rune Village, stay at the inn. There's Mr. Boris. And then we can uh, heal up, and then I can just uh, uh, try getting the drop from the buffalo and just, you know, off screening uh, all the failed attempts and just going into the uh, right attempt, so. Yep, we know where to find you, buddy. So, so it's nice we can have this in here, one woof. So it's not like a lot of other uh, games like Dragon Warrior or Final Fantasy where the further you get away from the main village, in this case, Pupsville, uh, you know, things get more expensive. But nope, not here, so. Keep that one pair of shades because uh, we're going to have to uh, still get that colored glass and make the last, uh, the blue sunglasses. And that will be almost all the clothes in the game. There's still a few more clothes that we can get. There's still two more areas, uh, but they're like after the point of no return. So, uh, you know, Patassi's always talking about going back to his home world. We will eventually get to the Ankh home world. And there'll be uh, two articles of clothing we can pick up there. And then, like I mentioned, when we went to the Kunker Runes, uh, the final uh, area in the game is uh, deeper inside the Kunker Runes. And uh, there's two more enemies in there, so still got four more uh, pieces of clothing you can pick up from uh, enemies. Uh, but we're almost done uh, with all the clothing we can buy and create. So, Ooh, we're out of buffalo. Ooh, he scared us, but we're gonna scare him back. Yeah, take this buffalo. Yeah, rough, rough. That is a mighty bark. To scare a buffalo. Mm -hmm. I have never seen a buffalo in real life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to go. Uh, eventually, speaking of seeing animals, I have to go to the zoo eventually around here. I've been in uh, Virginia for a few years now, uh, over a decade, and I still have to get to go to the Virginia. Uh, the Virginia uh, Beach Zoo. So I did go to the aquarium. The aquarium's nice, but still gotta go see the animals in the in the zoo yet. So Ooh. hopefully they don't attack me like that buzzard would. Mm-hmm. But we finally got the guitar off of the buffalo, so that's good. Now we can uh, head uh, up to the uh, North Sandy Desert. So. I'm just gonna pass through the dry valley here. So, just ignoring everything. Because there's nothing to uh, do here. We already got all the enemy drops and all the uh, fruit and flowers. So, yeah, and when we got that chestnut, we'll be able to, uh, when we get back to Pups, we'll be able to turn it into Darna and we'll be able to complete the, uh, the food book. So, we won't be able to complete the other two, the fish and the. Uh, Insect though until uh, we get to the ancient grove but We wanted to approach from the uh, north here because the special uh, flower the desert flower is right here at the um, 
entrance to the uh, dry valley from the North Sandy Desert. And then we'll just run across the desert here, and we'll take our take. We'll um, end up in um, Gigili Village, and this is where Will is, and this is where I will show off uh, all the races uh, on the hard difficulty. So I just made a quick save here, so let's uh, do all the different races. I have a uh, what you can win on the races uh, in the video description. So, so here's our first race. Uh, the easiest race here, the uh, little lake. So we just do a circle around the lake. Basically, almost not. Uh, basically, doing two circles. First circle, we're gonna uh, pick up the red and the blue flag. We want to start off on the left because uh, we start closest that way, and then we just go around uh, the lake here in a, a clockwise direction. And we want to take a little shortcut through these trees. You don't want to make sure you don't hit the trees. So the dogs are all faster than you, so you're only going to be able to beat them by taking a little shortcut. So boys should beat us here, but we take the shortcut. He goes onto the road. We just take the shortcut straight behind the platform, and we get first place. Woohoo! And we just won some woofs. So we could win other prizes. Uh, like I have, I'm listed down there. You could uh, technically win, uh, uh, well, four wolves is the best you can get from there, but uh, so. But on the other uh, four courses, you can win uh, material, so. For instance, on this beach course I mentioned earlier, you can win colored glass. So let's see if we can win some of that colored glass. Remember, we need one more. So. I'm going to head straight toward that blue flag, even though it is not the first flag we want to pick up. But the flag is kind of close. Now remember, when you're running on the sand, you slow down. So you want to try to stay on these boards as long as possible. And as soon as you get this red flag, you're going to pull a 180, and you're going to run back to that blue flag that we passed up earlier. Try to stay on the boards as much as possible, because the sand slows you down. And then as soon as you get this blue flag, you want to make a hard right 90 degree turn. And you're going to jump into the sand. So yeah, I said to avoid the sand as much as possible. But if you take the long route like the other dogs are doing uh, to stay on the wood, uh, it's just going to be really long. So the other dogs are going around in a circle to stay on the wood planks. We're going to take a shortcut through the sand. Yeah, it'll slow our movement down, but it's shorter distance. And we just barely beat out Boris. And what do we get? We do not get the colored glass, we just get a whole bunch of whoops, so, but that's okay. Like I said, we can always uh, retry the race again, and we can also win uh, the colored glass from doing the chick cup, the soccer cup, so. If I don't win it, uh, if I don't win it, uh, uh, I'll do some off-screen race, and if I don't win it then, then I'll just go back and do the chick cup real quick, so. But racing tends to be real quick. You can do a race in, like I said, the lake race in less than a minute. So, so we're in the forest. We can win a beautiful stone here. We want to cut through this little uh, wood here to grab this first flag and then turn around. And we could uh, cut through those uh, trees a little bit, but it's kind of dangerous, especially over here. Now, there's a real big shortcut. Those trees are really, really thick. If you're really good at dodging the trees, you can go right through the heart of the trees and save a lot of time but you can just stay on like basically the third or fourth row and uh, you'll be okay so yeah, this part you ought to be kind of careful because uh, these dogs if they're really close to you they can bump you into the tree so you gotta be very careful that dog almost pushes into the tree but as long as we take that little shortcut through the trees we should be able to beat him out so that yeah, was a close race but like I said, it shows that you don't necessarily have to take that most dangerous shortcut through the uh, massive woods to get to the uh, third flag, the yellow flag. You can stay on the, like, the third or fourth lane, and that's close enough. So Now we're going to have snow here. This one we can win silver. And uh, snow, like the uh, sand, slows you down as you run in it. So you want to try to avoid the snow as much as possible, but... Luckily, there's not a whole lot of snow. The snow is just going to be up on the top of the mountain there. 
And that's our first obstacle. We're going to climb the top of the mountain. And as soon as we get to this big uh, flat area, we want to take immediate right. That's the quickest way because uh, it's like uh, a little ramp. We don't have to climb as many steps. So I'm going to cut through this little path in the trees. And snow slows you down, so we're going to risk running across the ice. Now, ice is slippy, of course, but as long as you stay kind of far away from those uh, little uh, holes in the ice, you'll be okay. You might slip into it, it, that, that's the risk you take. You might slip into the hole, and then, you know, you'll go into the water, and you have to swim out, and you're really slow swimming, so. Now, this one, as soon as you get the flag, you want to head over this little ramp here, and just keep going straight, and you're going to jump down by this grass, and then immediately take a hard left, and just keep jumping down, jumping down, and you'll be right by the goal, and just run to the goal, and you've got a first place. And you could potentially, like I said, get some silver. But we just got a whole bunch of wolves, so. But now we have one more, uh, one more race to go, the advanced race, and it kind of puts up uh, all the terrain of all the other races, so. Hence, it's the advanced race, so. It's the longest race, but. I'll show you the tips on how to how to beat it, so. Alright, we got Boris and Ace. I always like when Ace is uh running because uh she's another beagle. So since we're all starting on the left, we're gonna start off to the left. And we can um uh, gonna cut through this forest again here. And turn Kind of like on the beach, we're going to head onto these uh, platforms. This time we're going to do a counterclockwise on these platforms. I'm going to kind of follow Boris. He's really quick. He's not going to catch him. Just straight running. But we'll, uh, we'll catch up to him with some shortcuts. Stay in the wood as much as possible. We're going to take a shortcut behind the little uh, stand here. You see the blue flag? They're up in the upper left. It's going to be hard to see when we make this turn because we're going to approach it from the side. But you can see that little pole there. Hit it. Sometimes the dogs all get uh, all meet there at the same time. And that's good because they uh, can kind of slow themselves down. So we want to follow this guy a little bit. As soon as you get here, we want to turn. Because if, uh, if you keep going up ahead, you're going to get to a point where you can't jump up anymore. And you're going to lose a lot of time because you're to backtrack. So as soon as you get into the snow, make a hard left. Just hug the wall, grab the third flag, and we're going to cut across the ice once again. Just like in the snow, uh, the flag is going to be on the opposite side of the lake, but we're going to take a shortcut right across the lake rather than going around the lake. Take a hard left as soon as we get it. And uh, we're going to cut through these little uh, trees here. And as soon as we get out of this hole, we're going to head straight ahead. We're going to jump right down here, and we're just going to keep jumping as soon as you get out of this thing, just keep jumping straight down. And if you're in first place, you should be pretty good. If you're in like second place, you might want to be dangerous and run through the harder section of the trees. But since I'm in first place, I can afford to just take the more leisurely route, uh, the less dense trees. And there we go. I hit first place again, and I didn't get the gold, but I got a whole bunch of whoops. So. And that is all the races, but it's not the sledding races. So I'm going to show off the sledding races here. So head back to Snow Village and talk with Mr. Gordon. We'll do all these on hard. So the uh, obstacles don't really change. The only thing that happens on hard is the, uh, the dogs are quicker and the, the red uh, line that you want to get your uh, cursor in uh, it tends to be a little bit uh, shorter than on the other difficulties. So bumpy, pretty straightforward. Uh, there's just gonna be that little bumpy section that's gonna alter the uh, trajectory of the, or the length and the positioning of the red bar. But if you got pretty good timing, it shouldn't be too too much. It shouldn't affect you too too much. But uh, by beating the uh, the bumpy road here. Uh, getting first place on hard, you can win a beautiful stone. So. Alright, that's enough. And then we're going to go on to the, uh, the hardest one, I think, the obstacle course. Uh, you can win a silver from this one. 
And this one, you actually have to uh, kind of maneuver your character around a little bit, so. And that could be kind of tricky, uh, but basically you want to, just like if you're running, you want to point the, uh, the paw print uh, in the direction that you want to move your dog, and then hit the B button uh, to have your dog turn in that direction. So, bloop. And then you kind of want to try to straighten yourself out, because otherwise you're kind of uh, dragging, you know, and you're not necessarily going straight, you're kind of turning into the, uh, into the, uh, into the fence. So, it can get kind of tricky, so sometimes you get a little hung up. So, you gotta watch how your, uh, where your thing is pointing, but once you get past that third log there, you should be pretty much in the clear, and we get first place. And you can win a silver for getting first place on the hard obstacle course. And hey, that's what we won. Woohoo! Puddle is very similar uh, to the uh, bumpy road, but uh, instead of having bumps on it and a hill in the middle, it's just going to have some puddles. Uh, puddles slow you down, uh, and they make the red uh, meter uh, really short. So if you're really uh, bad at timing, it might be easier to just start off like with the obstacle course, move over to the left or to the right, and then just head straight up the side. But I, I, uh, I like I said, getting all the, uh, doing all these races, I got my timing down pretty good, so. You see in the puddle, the, uh, the red is very, very short, but if you, like I say, got good timing, uh, you only have to, uh, hit the red twice in the puddle, so. If you're hitting red all the time, so. Look, you got one more, hit the red here in the puddle. Oop, missed it. But, yep, we still got, managed to get first place. And this is the best prize here is just four woofs, so. Now, each uh, race has uh, four little uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the word uh, four grades. You can get great, good, uh, almost there, and keep trying. So, I went and just because I'm obsessive compulsive, I had to get great on all of them. So, uh, if you want, uh, I have a listing of how you get greats on each of the uh, race courses and on the uh, sledding courses. So it ba it's based on your time. So basically, uh, if you want to, there's a target time, and if you want to get the greats, you basically want to get uh, basically uh, two seconds below. Good is, I believe, uh, five seconds below. Uh, between five and ten is almost there, and then anything over than that, over than than ten, is the keep trying. So let's turn in our uh, uh, chestnut here, and that will fill out uh, the food book. And we get the ark water for finishing that row of uh, food, the fruits. And because we filled out the book. We're going to get a new hat. What's our hat going to look like? Well, let's find out. Oh, dear. With your new item, the book is complete. I will reward you with this. The Food Master Hat. It's a big apple. Let's see how Buddy looks with that big apple on his head. Looks like a nice red delicious apple. Mmm. Red delicious. Yummy apples. I like red delicious. Probably my favorite. So. Bonk. There we go. Alrighty. And we can uh, go over here. Now, I ended up going over and doing the chick cup. Uh, I have a whole bunch of wolves. I kept trying to win the uh, colored glass from the uh, beach, but it just wouldn't let me. So I ended up just doing the chick cup, and I ended up getting that colored glass. And with that, we have completed all of the new products. So all we need is those uh, four f uh, accessories you can get from the... Uh, final two area drops, and then the bug master hat and the fish master hat. So let's first hand this desert flower to Peter. So this is the desert flower. Yep, it's a cactus. Thank you so much. Woohoo! Now I can work for Mouse Shiggy. 
Ooh, glad we can help, Peter. So, you're a good dog. So, and now Peter will be hanging out in uh, Malshigi's shop, so. Oh, hi, did you need me for something? Nope, just wanted to say hi and congratulations on your new job. Work is very important, so. It gives you, you know, something to do and you get to make friends and socialize, so. Mm -hmm. Nope. And there's the Mr. Mailman. Hey, what's up, Mr. Mailman? We'll see you in a little bit because we have to save our game. Let's put some stuff into our, uh, into our, uh, whatchamacallit, into our uh, chest here. Both items and accessories. Clear up some inventory space because we're going to need a lot of inventory space because uh, we're going to be going to the uh, Ancient Grove in the next episode and be the last place where we can uh, uh, collect bugs. I'll show off how to collect all the bugs, all the setups there, and uh, also show uh, the remaining three fish we need to catch there. So, but that'll be in our next episode. So, well, no, it won't be in our next episode because our next episode I'm just gonna do an upload of all the different races again, uh, without commentary. So, if you just want to see the races, you don't have to look, you know go hunting for them in in this episode. So, take care. Have a good day. I appreciate your support. Have a good one. Bye.